In this video, we're going to be talking about the five classic items that work for every woman, no matter her body shape, color type, or age. These are classic items that you need for fall because they're going to do heavy lifting for you because they work with everything that you have in your wardrobe right now. By the end of this video, you're going to have exactly what you need to find these five classic items sustainably and ethically. So be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video. I have literally styled hundreds of women over the course of my personal styling career and I'm going to teach you how to use these items in your wardrobe so that you can look and feel good in the clothing that you already own and have more confidence when getting dressed for this fall weather. By the way, if you're new here, I would love for you to become a subscriber. And also if you're new, feel free to click that little bell notification icon so that you will be notified when I release a new video. That way you know for sure when I'm sending out new videos and you won't miss a single one. Also to celebrate this amazing topic of five essential items that you need for fall, I've decided to create a new resource for you as my way of saying thank you for being here. I just passed 300 subscribers on YouTube and it means the world to me that you guys are here showing up, but it's not about me. It's about you and it's about your style, your confidence, and your closet. So I created a resource for you that is 29 classic items that every woman should own. These are wardrobe staples that work for every body shape, color type, and age. I promise you that these items are simple and beautiful and you're going to love them. That resource guide is linked right below this video and in that resource guide, you'll also find exact links so that you can purchase the items that I'm talking about. This isn't just pretty, it's also helpful. So go ahead and download that guide now. Okay, let's go ahead and dive into the items because I'm really excited to show these with you and I just wanna make this a simple, short, and sweet video. All of these items that I have uh, here for you are secondhand because as you know, that's kind of one of my things. I just love secondhand shopping. I think it's one of the best ways to find ethical clothing. And so when I link to items in the description box and in the blog post that goes with this video, keep in mind that you can find items similar to these online. But the best way, I think, to find high quality, beautiful pieces is to shop at consignment shops online or in person or go to your thrift store. That's your favorite thrift store. So let's go ahead and dive into the first item, which is a trench coat or a leather coat of some kind. Now, I think leather is one of those beautiful things that is going to last you forever and ever and ever, but you might be a vegan, and so my suggestion to you would be to look for vegan leather options, but something to that effect would be great. So I have here, this is my leather coat. This is both a leather coat and a trench coat, and I got this at a consignment shop that I used to work at back in the day. I love this piece because it has a belt and it is such a lovely fit. It's lined with cotton, so I'm not like sweating as I wear it. And this is from the brand Sicily. And I look kind of like, um, I don't know, I look really severe in this jacket, but I love this coat. It goes so far. It's kind of like a deep green almost, not quite a brown, not quite a green. And I would recommend getting a color that works for your color type. And you can go with black, you can go with a deeper, darker charcoal, with an army green, or maybe even a deep navy, something like that. Now the style of the jacket is up to you, but make sure that if you're going to the thrift store to find this jacket, that it is somewhat current and modern. Um, you wanna steer away from um, different boxier styles that were popular probably about 15 years ago and you want to try to go towards a more modern end. I would also recommend that if you're going for a leather jacket that you try to source it ethically or sustainably and I am linking to a great ethical brand for leather right below this video and um, I think getting a moto jacket would be a nice alternative. So if you wanna get like a, motor style, a motorcycle style jacket versus a long trench coat, that would be awesome. Now you can also swap out the leather coat for a trench coat with just a classic 
camel trench coat that's waxed canvas that's going to be waterproof. And the key here, the reason why I'm bringing up leather and waxed canvas is because fall is the time of year when everything is wet and rainy and you're going from um, rainy, like kind of balmy temperatures into cold and then snowy, depending on where you live. So you need a classic outerwear piece that's going to see you through that transition. I'm really excited to talk about the next item because you know I'm obsessed with France. So I have here a beret. This is a classic beret that I got from the thrift store and it is 100% rule. It's from Beret Pas Basquet and Deluxe. It doesn't say where it is made. Actually, it has a little tag inside here. So let's see. It is Ultra Basque, 100% wool, made in the Czech Republic. And just a little thing to toot my own horn, I got this for $4. Now, you can find beautiful, ethically sourced berets online, and I think that these are just classic staple pieces that can see you through any season, honestly. Maybe not summer, but definitely fall and winter. So I'm just gonna pop this on so you can see. There's a couple of ways to style this. You can just do classic like that, where the kind of rim is popped out, or you can pop the rim under for a little bit more fitted look. So I love berets because I know they might seem a little cliche to some people, but I think that they are warm, they go with everything, they're neutral, and they're classic. So they're never gonna go out of style. I mean, think about all the different time periods in history where women have worn and men have worn berets. They're just not gonna go out of style. You can go with your favorite color, you can go with one that's beaded. Make sure that it goes with your color type and things that you already own in your closet. I just so happen to find a navy one at the thrift store. I would have preferred black, but honestly, navy goes great with everything as well. And you can see it just kind of goes with my own winter color palette. So I love berets. Definitely look into getting one. And if you're super itchy on the forehead because of the wool, you can go with cotton or even leather or maybe another synthetic material. Just do some research and find something that works for you. So cashmere is all the rage and I can definitely see why. It is a lovely material that is much softer than wool and it is extremely warm. So if you're looking for fewer layers during the fall, then cashmere is going to be one of those materials and fabrics that is going to serve you well because you really don't need much to stay warm with the cashmere sweater. So if you're somebody who tends to get hot, just have the sweater and a wrap or very lightweight coat and you will be extraordinarily warm. So I have here again a secondhand find. This is a Talbot's sweater. It is cashmere in kind of a heather gray. And um, I got this for $16 at the thrift store. Normally a sweater like this would retail for probably around 100. I think cashmere is just super flexible and works for anyone and everyone. And you can get it in your color if you keep hunting at the thrift store. Right now the thrift stores all have out their, their sweater racks. So just go to town and start the hunt. Make sure that you're constantly checking the label to see if it's a blend. You don't wanna go for a blended cashmere anything because that's going to be itchy and it won't wear well and you just need to stick to 100% wool, 100% cashmere, 100% angora, da 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 da. The next clothing item I wanna talk about is your forever pair of classic jeans. These are my favorite jeans. They are just wonderful. I got them secondhand and what I love about them is that they are high waist, they're broken in, they're 100% cotton and they go with everything. So I can wear these with my cashmere sweater, with my beret, in my trench coat or my leather coat, and I can just wear those throughout the entire fall season and I'm going to look good no matter what I do. So having a forever pair of classic denim is so important and it is really hard to find denim that fits well. So I'm going to definitely link some examples in the blog post that I'd love for you to check out because the hunt for a good pair of jeans is serious, but if you can find them and nail them and get them and love them, 
then they will do so much work for you in your wardrobe because I think they go with everything. The final item I want to talk about that is classic for fall is a classic pair of black boots and you can see that these are almost brand new. I got these at the thrift store and they are awesome. They kind of look like rag and bone boots and I'll just show you one as we talk through why classic black boots are so important. Um, low heel, high heel, you got to do what works for you. The point here is that these are leather black boots with a black heel. That means they're neutral forever. They have a rounded toe, which is also neutral forever. You want to try to stay away from things that date shoes. So these could be popular pretty much in any, I think pretty much in any time frame that we're talking about here. I like these because they come up past the heel and they have a zip on the side. So they're easy to put on, easy to take off. These are Matisse. I will link the brand in the description box below, but keep in mind I did get these secondhand at the thrift store. And um, you can find similar pairs that I'll also put in the blog post. But these are gonna go with everything. They can go with skirts, they can go with your trench coat or your black leather jacket or any color leather. Um, because black is the most neutral color, it goes with everything. Now, I've got a lot of different colors going on here, but when you see the whole outfit come together, you'll be kind of amazed that it works. It actually works together. These items can be swapped out for anything that you're trying to style. You can wear your high-waisted pencil pants that are black. You could wear a skirt with the cashmere sweater. You can swap out a t-shirt for the cashmere or a light silk blouse for the cashmere top. You could change out the leather jacket for a nice cardigan or even just a wrap. It's really easy to style these pieces and to mix and match and swap out. I really hope that you have liked this video. If you have, please feel free to give me a thumbs up because I would super appreciate it. And if you want more tips like this, be sure to subscribe. I would love to go deeper with you on these topics. Feel free to reach out to me. I work one-on-one -on -one and virtually with people. So if you live in the Knoxville area and would like to do some personal styling, or if you'd like to do some virtual styling online, please feel free to reach out to me on my website, briannalamberson.com. Anyways, I hope you guys have loved this video and be sure to download that free resource guide I created for you and I will see you next time.